Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, myself Professor Uday Bhukre and now I am welcoming you on your own YouTube channel Ikeda. Friends, today we are going to learn for CA Inter course Advanced Accountancy subject topic name Liquidation of Companies. Before I begin with your today's session, I request you to subscribe to our channel Ikeda and also press bell icon for your latest notifications. Friends, today we are going to learn for internal reconstruction question number 2 which is on your screen. <music> Question number two, we are reading now. Given below is the summarized balance sheet of Rebuilt Limited as on 31st March 2000X1. Authorized and issued capital 12,000 7% preference shares of rupees 50 each. They also gave you note that dividend is in arrears for five years. So five years dividend at the rate of 7%. The amount of dividend which is outstanding comes to 2,10,000 that is 6 lakhs into 7% into 5 that comes to 2,10,000 15,000 equity shares of rupees 50 each amount is 7,50,000 all shares are fully paid loan, trade payable and other liabilities. Asset side, building, less depreciation, plant at cost, less depreciation, trademarks and goodwill at cost, inventory, trade receivable and p and account. Importantly, in case of internal reconstruction, our main aim is to write off debit balance of p and account standing on the asset side of your balance sheet. Friends, let's read the question further. Company is now earning profits short of working capital. They are saying company has now begun with the profit but working capital is short. And a scheme of reconstruction has been approved by both the classes of shareholder. Both the classes of shareholder means preference shares and equity shares both. A summary of scheme is as follows. Equity shareholders have agreed that their rupees 50 share should be reduced to rupees 2.50 by cancellation of 47.50 per share. So equity share face value has been reduced from 50 to 2.5. Of course, if face value is reduced, paid up value is also accordingly reduced. So how much amount they are going to waive or they are going to sacrifice in favor of company is per share 47.50. Hmm. They have also agreed to subscribe three new equity shares of 2.50 each for each equity share they held. Not only they are waiving their capital, they are also interested in buying new capital of the company. So there is a fresh issue of equity shares of rupees 2.50 each and the ratio they are saying three shares for each equity shares they held. So there is a fresh issue. Preference shareholders have agreed to cancel the arrears of dividend. They are saying we will cancel our arrears of dividend which you can see in the balance sheet. 2,10,000. This they are going to waive or they are going to cancel. Friends, it is contingent liability. It is contingent liability because it is not recorded in the amount column of your balance sheet. If it is cancelled, we will not pass any entry. But if it is settled or paid, we will pass the entry capital reduction account debit. What they are saying further? They are going to cancel the arrears of dividend and accept for each rupees 50 share. They are holding share of rupees 50 each. Four new preference shares of rupees 10 each. So I can say amount is 40 rupees. Plus six new equity shares of 2.50 each. This comes to 15 rupees. So 40 plus 15 comes to 55. So we are actually paying them more. So whatever extra we paid, we will debit to the capital reduction account. At the right time, we will do the entry and I will explain you that. All credits as fully paid so we have issued the shares which are fully paid lenders to the company that is loan for rupees 150000 have agreed to convert their loan into shares and for this purpose they will be allotted 12000 new preference shares of rupees 10 each it comes to 120000 and 12000 new equity shares of rupees 2.50 each it comes to 30000 so in this way they are settled, they are dues, loan. Directors have agreed to subscribe in cash 40,000 new equity shares 
of rupees 2.50 each in addition to any share to be subscribed by them under A above. तो ऊपर A point में कुछ fresh shares issue किए थे हम लोगों ने. उसके अलावा ये shares है. So basically it is a fresh issue. We will pass the separate entry. Of the cash received by new issue, by issue of new shares, rupees 2 lakh is to be used to reduce the loan due by company. तो आपका loan जो है और 2 lakh का कम हो गया. Equity share capital cancelled is to be applied. उसको use किया गया. To write off debit balance or in PNL account. PNL account का debit balance we have written off. And to write off 35,000 from the value of plant. So at least these two things we are going to write off. Any balance remaining is to write down value of trademark and goodwill. So they are saying if there is any remaining balance can be used to write down what trademarks and goodwill. What they will write off with the additional money? Trademarks and goodwill. So journal entries, how financial books are affected by the scheme? and prepare the balance sheet. So, you have to do journal bhi karna hai aur balance sheet. Bhi ka hai. After reconstruction, the nominal capital as reduced is to be increased to Rs. 4,50,000 for preference shares and Rs. 7,50,000 for equity share capital. So, there is a revised authorized capital. So, in this question, nothing much difficult but it is very fundamental question and definitely you can expect these kind of examples in your exam too. Let's prepare journal first. Friends, I am ready with my journal format. In journal format, I have mentioned journal of rebuild limited. Date is the balance sheet date itself. First entry we will do from our available information. Let's go with the information. Equity shareholders have agreed that rupees 50, their rupees 50 share should be reduced to rupees 2.50 by cancellation of 7. Point, by cancellation of 47.50 rupees per share. So there is a cancellation of equity capital and that amount we will transfer to capital reduction. So my entry will be old capital account debit to new capital account. Old capital is of 50, new capital is of 2.5. The difference we will transfer to capital reduction. So let's do the entry. Friends, we have recorded the entry. Equity share capital rupees 50 account debit. 15,000 shares of 50 old capital get cancelled. To equity share capital rupees 2.50 account credit. So in place of old capital, new capital is inserted. Exact 15,000 shares of rupees 2.50 each. The remaining amount we have transferred to the capital reduction, which is our profit for the company. Let's go with the entry number two. Let's see what they have given you further. They have also agreed to subscribe for three new equity shares of rupees 2.50 each for each share they held. So, one share ke piche unhone three shares kharida hai. So, three shares multiplied by 15,000 shares. Existing they are holding how many shares? 15,000. So, 15,000 multiplied by three. So, they will purchase 45,000 shares. So, my entry for fresh issue will come. Friends, we are ready with accounting entry for fresh issue. Bank account debit to equity share capital, 45,000 shares of 2.50 each are issued. Amount received is 112,500. So bank account debit to equity share capital being fresh issue of equity shares on right basis because it is offered to the existing shareholder. Let's see the next transaction. Preference shareholders have agreed to cancel the arrears of dividend. Importantly, arrears of dividend is your contingent liability. It is not recorded in the amount column of the balance sheet. So if that liability get cancelled, we will not pass any entry. So students, no entry for arrears of preference dividend cancelled. Let's go with the next. Preference shareholders have agreed to cancel the arrears of dividend and to accept for each ek share ke liye, each rupees 50 share for new 5% preferences. Jitne bhi shares unke paas rahenge, multiply by 4 new preferences will be issued to them. Plus 6 new equity shares of rupees 2.50 each, all created as fully paid. Here only you can notice one share of existing preference shareholder is of rupees 50. In return, they are going to get 4 preferences of 10 each, that comes to 40 rupees. Plus 6 new equity shares of 2.50 each come to 15 rupees. So in exchange of 50, you are paying 55, so there has to be a loss. Per share, 5 rupees ka loss ho raha hai. 
let us do the entry and I will make it clear in my accounting entry. Friends, I am recording the entry. Already I have debited 7% preference share capital of rupees 50 each. 12,000 shares of 50, I have to debit 6 lakhs rupees. They are saying for each preference share, they will get new 4 preference shares. So for 12,000, they will get 48,000 preference shares of rupees 10 each. Plus, they will get for each share 6 new equity shares. So 12 6 are 72. 72,000 equity shares will be given to them of rupees 2.50 each. Amount comes to 1,80,000. You can notice we have to settle 6 lakhs, but we have paid more than that. We paid 6,60,000. So whatever extra we paid will be debited to the capital reduction account. So student, you can notice in this entry, the balancing amount I have debited to capital reduction account. You can notice here, for 50 rupees, we give one share, 50 rupees, we give four shares of 10 each. So that comes to 40 rupees. So here, settlement 40 rupees ka ho gaya. Plus six equity shares of 2.5, so that's 15 rupees. Banta hai. So common sense, hai, 50 if we have 55 then 5 rupees per share loss. So 5 rupees into 12,000, that also comes to 60,000. You can see that. Next transaction we have to see now. Lenders to the company, for rupees 150,000 have agreed to convert their loan into shares. Firstly, let me see the loan amount. Loan amount here is 573,000. They are talking about this. Out of that amount, 150,000 have agreed to convert their loan into shares. For this purpose, they will be given 12,000 new preferences of 10 each that comes to 120,000 and 12,000 new equity shares of rupees 2.50 that comes to 30,000. So they have been settled. 150,000 loan has been settled by giving them equity shares and preferences. So we need to pass the entry loan account debit 150,000 to preference share capital account. 12,000 into 10 that is 1 lakh 20,000 and to equity share capital account 12,000 into 2.5 that is 30,000. In this way we will record the entry for settlement of loan amount in part. Friends see the entry now loan account is debited 1 lakh 50,000. Again that we gave them 12,000 preferences of 10 each so 26% preferences 10 each credited 1 lakh 20,000 to equity share capital 2.50 account credited 30,000 which is also 12,000 equity shares of rupees 2.50 each. Narration is being part settlement of loan by issue of preference shares and equity shares. So we have settled the loan not fully but partially by giving them shares. So these shares we have issued to settle the loan that is issue of shares for consideration other than cash. When we prepare a balance sheet we will mention this. Let's see the next information. The directors have agreed to subscribe in cash for 40,000 new equity shares of rupees 2.50 each in addition to any shares to be subscribed by them under A above. So, in A information, the additional shares ki baat hui thi, uske alawa ye additional shares ki isne subscribe ki director ne. For a company, it doesn't matter who is purchasing the shares. Let it be a director or let it be a general public. For, my, for me, my entry will be same. Entry will be bank account debit to equity share capital account. Friends, you can notice the entry bank account debit to equity share capital account. How many shares were issued? 40,000 shares of 2.50 each. Amount collected by company must be rupees 1 lakh. Being fresh issue of equity shares to the directors. Right? Directors ko to mention karenge narration mein nothing more than that. Let's see the next information. Of the cash received by issue of new shares rupees 2 lakh is to be used to reduce the loan due by company so 2 lakh rupee ka loan repay kiya hoga we must have refunded loan amount of rupees 2 lakhs so my entry will be very simple loan account debit to bank account friends you can notice the entry loan account debit to bank account loan is repaid so your narration is being part repayment of loan rupees 2 lakhs let's see the next transaction equity share capital cancelled is to be applied where it is to be used to write off debit balance of PL account. So PL account will be credited and to write off 35,000 from the value of plant. So plant account will be credited. So my entry develop will be capital reduction account debit to profit and loss account and to plant account. Let's do the entry. 
फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी द एंट्री नाउ कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट डेबिट टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड टू प्लान अकाउंट एज पर द इंस्ट्रक्शन इन द क्वेश्चन बोथ आर देम आर रिटर्न ऑफ लेट सी द नेक्स्ट Any balance remaining is to write down the value of trademark and goodwill. They are saying that if any amount remains in your capital reduction account, of course it should be a credit balance. Will be used to write down what trademarks and goodwill. So trademarks and goodwill will be credited and capital reduction account will be debited for the amount available. First, I need to check how much amount is available in your capital reduction account. Let's do that working note. friends here i have prepared a format of capital reduction account being it is a working note i will not follow the normal rules i will just write debit and credit in this account with the help of our entries so i am posting basically entries in which account capital reduction account step by step friends you can notice entry number 1 capital reduction account is created with rupees 71 to 500 so capital reduction account credit side 71 to 500 after that in your entry number 2 there is no capital reduction account entry number 3 is not there entry number 4 capital reduction account is debited with rupees 60000 so i recorded on debit side 60000 in your fifth entry there is no capital reduction account in your sixth entry there is no capital reduction account in your seventh entry there is no capital reduction account in your eighth entry capital reduction account is debited with rupees 486000 that's it as regard to your capital reduction account now i need to close the account i need to find out what is the difference friends i will close my capital reduction account on credit side total is 71 to 500 and the difference amount is 1600 500 this amount we can use to write down trademark and goodwill let me firstly check how much the amount is there trademark and goodwill you can notice student the amount is 3 lakh 18000 so again that i will write off some amount which is available with me to trademark and goodwill account this is a balancing figure so my entry is formed capital reduction account debit to trademark and goodwill account friends you can notice my last entry capital reduction account debit to trademark and goodwill account being surplus of scheme used to write off trademarks and goodwill so it is your last entry and now i need to prepare a balance sheet before i prepare with a balance sheet i need to prepare some small working note to decide how many shares will appear in your new balance sheet not only that i also need to prepare a cash or bank account to understand how much bank balance will appear in our balance sheet so step by step i will be doing that firstly i will do the working note to know how many equity shares will appear in my balance sheet while doing this i will firstly begin with the balance sheet number of shares Balance sheet number of equity shares are fifteen thousand, so it is my starting point, and these shares are offered with fifty each. Now I will see my entries. Importantly, we are talking about a liability item. If it is credited, it will be added. If it is debited, it will be subtracted. So let's go entry by entry. So friends, you can notice. Firstly, I debited, so fifteen thousand shares are cancelled, and in place of that, new shares of two point five zero are created. Let's go back to the working. So my number of shares will be same, but now face value is two point five zero. Face value is two point five zero, right, friends? So now we are having shares of rupees two point five zero. Let us see further entries. Entry number two, fresh equity shares are issued, so it will be added. Right shares are added, forty five thousand. These are issued for cash in settlement of preference shares. Entry number four, capital equity share capital. In settlement of preference shares, we again issued equity shares, and number of equity shares were seventy-two thousand. So it also will be added. Next, students in fifth entry again we created equity capital twelve thousand, and these shares are issued in settlement of loan. So twelve thousand shares are issued for loan. Entry number six, again we issued forty thousand shares to directors. It is issued for cash. That's it. After this entry, there are no equity shares issued, or there is no entry relating to the equity shares. So I need to find out how many shares which will come in my balance sheet. Total number of equity shares of two point five zero each. So my capital in the balance sheet, equity capital in the balance sheet, will be four lakh sixty thousand. One eighty four thousand multiplied by two point five. In this way, I got my equity shares. In the same manner, I will prepare my preference shares calculation. friends here is a working note calculation of number of preference shares in balance sheet 
So I need to write firstly, what are your opening number of preferences? You can notice student, in balance sheet there were 12,000 preferences and these are of rupees 50 each. Let us see what happened in our journal entries relating to the preferences. You can notice your entry number 4, here I have debited means this capital is cancelled and in place of that, so these shares are cancelled firstly. So I will minus 50 rupees ka shares capital, rather I can say these shares are converted somewhere, right? So after cancelling these shares, new preferences are there. You can notice student, here we have issued 48,000 preferences of 10 each. Next, you can notice student entry number 5. We also issued preferential in settlement of loan 12,000. There is no use of preferential capital account anywhere further. So, my entry, rather my calculation for preferences will end here. I need to work out total. Friends, one thing I need to identify here, shares issued for loan are for consideration other than cash. So, when I mention in the balance sheet, I will write a note. Similarly, when I issued equity shares for loan, there also I will write the note that okay, these shares are issued for consideration other than cash. Everywhere else we already received the cash for that shares, right? One more thing, I need to prepare a working note for my cash or bank balance, rather bank account I need to prepare. Simply, I will enter all entries relating to the bank account in this account, debit or credit. I will just put the amount because it is not the official requirement, but I am preparing as a working note. Student, you can notice there is no opening balance of bank account here. No opening balance of bank account is not So, my starting point bank balance, opening balance is not there, so I will not write. I will just consider the entries in which bank account is debited or credited. Friends, you can see that bank account is debited in your second entry, 11 to 500. There is no bank account, entry number 3 and 4. Entry number 5 bank account is not there. Entry number 6 bank account is debited with rupees 1 lakh. Entry number 7 bank account is credited with rupees 2 lakhs. Friends, there is no further entry affecting the bank account. So, I will close my bank account and get the closing balance. Friends, my closing balance of bank is 12,500. It will appear in the balance sheet as a cash and cash equivalent. So friends, I am ready with the ingredients which are required for my balance sheet. So now I will prepare my balance sheet. Balance sheet of Rebuild Limited and reduced as on 31st March 2000X1. So I am making a format for that. And reduce a word necessary after you reconstruct your company, you need to ensure it that you are writing this in your name. So, A, share capital under the heading shareholders fund. We will prepare note number one for this. There are no reserves to be written here. Koi reserve hai nahi, to nahi likhenge. Thereafter, depending on the balance sheet, we will prepare other things. In the balance sheet, there is a loan. We are presuming it is long-term borrowing and it is non-current liability. In long-term borrowing, there is only one loan, but it has some calculations. So, I will prepare a note number two. Number three is your current liability. You can notice student, under current liability we have only two amounts and that has not changed only, trade payable and other liabilities. So trade payable and other current liabilities will note down. There is no change in these two liabilities and there is no further item on the liability side. I need to write a total. I will take the total only when all amounts are ready, but I'm just keeping place for writing total. Second part is your assets. Number one is non-current assets. Under non-current assets, we write A, fixed assets. Under fixed assets, I need to write tangible and intangible. We have two amounts to write in tangible, so I will prepare a note. Intangible, we have one item, but still there are some calculations involved, so I will write it as a note only. So friends, I have done with non-current assets. Now in current assets, I need to write other assets, whatever are available in my balance sheet. In balance sheet, you can notice there is an inventory and trade receivable, both will appear as your current assets. Besides that cash and cash equivalent bank balance also is there. So I will note down all three. Friends, I have written current assets also, I need to take a total.
I will write the total once I am ready with all amounts. Now here I need to prepare total four notes. Note number one for share capital, two for long term borrowing, three for tangible fixed assets, four for intangible fixed assets. So four notes I need to draw. Let us prepare that. Note number one will prepare share capital. In share capital, I firstly write authorized capital. In your question, they gave you authorized capital. Let's see that. Here at the last line they mentioned, nominal capital as reduced is to be increased to 650,000 for preferences. Preferences agar 10 rupees ka hai, to it must be 65,000 shares of rupees 10 each. And equity capital is 7,50,000. So 7,50,000 divided by 2.5. Let me check. It must be 3 lakh shares. So this I will note as my authorized capital. So your total authorized capital comes to 14 lakhs. It is double underlined because it will not be counted in the total of your balance sheet. Right. Next I need to write issued, subscribed and paid up capital. Friends, I already did the working note. Let's take the help of working note for preparation of this. Total number of equity shares will be 84,000 of rupees 2.5 each and preference shares 60,000. So I will note down that. And while writing that, importantly, these shares are issued for consideration other than cash. 12,000 equity shares and 12,000 preference shares. So I will mention note also about it. Let's write that. So friends, here is your issued, subscribed and paid up capital also. 60,000 6% preference shares of 10 each, 1,84,000 equity shares of rupees 2.50 each. Note, of the above 12,000 preference shares and 12,000 equity shares were issued for consideration other than cash. We issued these shares in settlement of loan. So this I have mentioned because we have not received cash, it is against a loan. So friends, this I will put in my balance sheet. We are done with note number one. Now note number two is for long term borrowing which include actually only one item but I will mention because calculations are involved. Friends, in my balance sheet loan amount was 5,73,000. So that is my starting point. Here we have settled some amount of loan with the help of entries we will understand that. Friends, you can notice entry number five settled by way of equity and preference shares 1,50,000. So 1,50,000 debit hua hai. So I will minus it from the loan amount. Also, I settled 2 lakhs. So I will minus both the amount from the existing 5,73,000. So friends, this total of 2,23,000 we will enter in our balance sheet. Liability side is complete. So I can take a total of that. 15,25,000 is the total expected. Next, we have to prepare a note for tangible fixed asset and intangible fixed asset. Note number 3 and 4. Friends, you can notice there is a building. There is no change in the building amount in our entries. So building I will copy as it is 4 lakhs. Next is plant. In balance sheet plant amount is 2,68,000. Let us see the entry which affected the plant account. Friends, entry number 8 plant account is credited. So I will minus it 2,33,000. So I will take a total of this 633,000. This 633,000 I will place in my balance sheet. Friends, this 633,000 I have written. Now fourth is intangible fixed asset so note number four friends you can notice there is only one intangible asset trademarks and goodwill and that is reduced also so let me write firstly trademark and goodwill in my note three like eighteen thousand is written off to some extent let us see the entry which affected this entry number nine it is credited so it is to be reduced to 166 500 friends we have amount of 150 and 500 this i will note down in my balance sheet so I have noted this and now my asset side is also recorded and it is complete. Now I can take a total. This total is also 15,25,000. In this way, this balance sheet also tally. So friends, definitely sure shot. Ye topic pe question exam mein aega. You have to prepare it very carefully. I just hope. Today's session you have understood everything but still if there are any doubts please put in the comment box. Before I close the video I request you to subscribe to our channel eKida. Friends please also share this video with your friends who are doing chartered accountancy course. It will be of great help to them. Thank you students for watching the video. God bless you.